In the physics community in the early 1900s, there was this problem called the ultraviolet catastrophe. So everything that has a temperature above absolute zero gives off electromagnetic radiation of some sort. And that light is emitted at all wavelengths, but at certain temperatures, it emits more of certain wavelengths than others. Humans mostly emit infrared light, so that's why we can be seen in night vision goggles. And some of the light that we emit is just light bouncing right on off of us. But a true black body absorbs all the light that falls on it. So any light emitted by a black body is based on temperature alone and you can calculate it out. At lower frequencies, classical physics accurately predicts the results. But once it got to the ultraviolet range, it was predicted that the energy released would approach infinity. And the fact that it doesn't was called the ultraviolet catastrophe. And this is where the photogenic Max Planck comes in to accidentally save the day. He was just trying to make the numbers add up, so he assumed that energy can only be released or absorbed in discrete packets called quanta of energy. Then Einstein came around and said that Max's quanta were actually real physical particles, what we now call photons, and not just mathematical fiction. And solving the ultraviolet catastrophe was basically the birth of quantum physics, and I would argue modernity. And for suggesting that there are fundamental natural units for length, time, mass, and energy, Planck had buttloads of things named after him.